For these Egyptian university students, this was a rather unique and exciting opportunity. They were here at Cairo's Egyptian Chinese University to get a glimpse of life in outer space and a rare chance to talk to Chinese taikonauts at the Tiangong space station. With their eyes fixated on the screen, they got a chance to learn more about life in space from the Shinzo 14 crew. Most of the Egyptian students here were young women. They wanted to know more from taikonaut Liu Yang on how a woman could become an astronaut. She's given me like an insp inspiration. She, she's like a hardworking person. Uh, she followed her dream and she became an astronaut. And uh, I like, really, really like her personality. <laughs> the event exceeded my expectations. It was impressive. I am proud to be studying the language of a country as developed as China. I was amazed to see how people are living in space and how happy they are with their job. Questions here ranged from simple ones on how the Taikonauts eat, drink or bathe to those seeking more details about their work in space and how space missions affect their personal lives. Professionals from the Egyptian Space Agency, university professors and students alike were all ears as the Shinzo 14 Taikonauts answered their queries. Of course it's not just a matter of uh, seeing a, mo a movie for uh, two hours or more. Uh, it's, it gives them great ambitions to, for their future, uh, how to uh, change even their point of view, their, their, their way of life. Uh, I think I, I talked to some students when we were coming out of the lecture of the room. Uh, they feel that they are different. And this is what we uh, target. China continues to support Africa in developing its expertise in space science. African countries have in recent years been paying increasing attention to developing their space technologies and space sector. China is interested in supporting African interests and to provide assistance in accomplishing these needs. Egypt and China are working on several projects that aim to enhance Cairo's space science capacity. The two countries are working together in building a satellite as well as a space monitoring and remote sensing stations. Hearing Taikonauts and Chinese space officials say that if they work hard, one day they may get on board the Chinese space agency, the event opened students' eyes to opportunities many thought were impossible. Talking to the Shinzo 14 Taikonauts was inspirational. It made a young generation start thinking about how they can take Egypt to space. Adil Mahroui. CGTN, Cairo.